Hey guys, what's going on? I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. I think it's been like a month and a half since I uploaded. I guess I just burned myself out doing the whole roster mania thing. And I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I probably should have came back sooner than this, but I think I'm ready to. Um, but basically, I want I just want to let you guys know what's going to be happening with my channel. First off, I'm gonna be uploading. Like I want to upload one one shot gameplay. I love sniping like commentaries and or just gameplays more so than watching like a gameplay with like regular guns like sub machine guns, light heavy machine guns, just assault rifles, everything else. But basically, what this video is gonna be about today is so seeing seeing the title, Optic Gaming's biggest threat. And what I mean by that is who is Optic Gaming's biggest threat when it comes to the competitive side of Call of Duty, of course, if you guys see this video and are new to my channel. First off, I want to say it's Phase Red, which is Aix, Slasher, Parasite, and Enable. Why is this team, why do I feel like this team is a threat? Well, simple. You got a winner in Aix. You, ha you have another person that's one in Parasite, so there's two extremely smart players. And then Enable, he... He is the weakest link to me. I he hasn't proved that he's a dominant player. As pe I think he's somewhat overrated. Yeah, so to speak, somewhat overrated, so to speak. Um, Slasher, I think Slasher is a good player. I think Slasher does not reach his full potential, but he's definitely a top ten player in my mind. Some of you may some of you may hate me for saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go with Optic Nation. Um, on that ring, I think I was watching ESR. No, I was watching. Qualifier yesterday on Alpha Stream, and between Karma, TP, Killa, and Miracles, I believe it's five rings all together as a collective team. So that's basically the impact team, but with TP, a player that's just as smart and probably has a little bit more gun skill than Parasite on the past games. I'm not sure if he does on this game. Parasite's very good on this game. So the so, if you are an Omni Game fan like myself, you may want to be. These are the teams you're probably going to want to be worried about, if anybody. I mean, <laughs> they, the sling power, the sling column, no. But they're so they're so smart players, such a smart team. These two teams are so smart that it's just the fact that they can they can make clutch plays. They don't necessarily. They're not necessarily going to beat you in the kill column. You may have 15 more kills than them at the end of the match total, but they will do smart things, certain things that will keep them in the game. And if you let someone hang around and hang around, they're, they're, they'll come back and beat you. I mean, so that's what it's to come down to. Who's their counter? Who's the best? Basically, whenever these two teams play each other, and or these two teams play Optic Gaming, which online I believe. Optic Nation, Optic Game haven't played yet, and I know it is online, obviously, but still, um, Phase Red, I believe, I believe they played Optic and they they beat them. I think was it 3-0 or is it? I think it's 3-1 actually, but I mean, still it's online. But the team, th that team looks good. The only team problem with Phase Red is can they get along? How how much are they gonna argue? I mean, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with Optic Nation. I've heard nothing but good things from what people told me I heard they're getting along on stream and whatnot and karma I mean not karma but killa just kind of kind of takes the back seat tilts they're searching TP like basically makes the decisions and kill disagrees with them and kill supposed to be the best search player in the world so <laughs> but hey guys I appreciate you guys for watching I'm gonna upload more videos Tell me, help me guys understand what you want to see necessarily, like other than vlogs. I mean, I know a lot of people I've talked to like vlogs more than they do gameplays. Because whenever people are talking, they're focusing more on their gameplays than they are in the video. Which, if I do that, I like to set up a webcam after and just edit it into my video. I'm going to sit there and talk while the gameplay is going. <laughs> so then I can, I can focus on my gameplay and focus on my commentary. So... I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like if you like my video. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your dog. And follow me on Twitter. At Hex25. That's two X's in the at. Peace.